Wow, this is another issue. Banditry in the North. The World Institute for Peace calls for arrest of Sheikh Gumi. So, World Institute for Peace, an organization that has been calling for the support uh, for the military and working on entrenchment of peace across the globe, has called on the Nigerian government to arrest popular cleric Sheikh Ahmad Gumi and question him over his recent adverse against security operatives. So Chairman of the Organization Chief Lamina Kamiludin or Motoyusi made the call in a statement obtained by Insight Media in Abuja on Saturday. Lamina said the outburst and defense of bandit contribute threats against national security and should be arrested by the federal government of Nigeria. His statement reads, World Institute for Peace is deeply concerned about the recent outburst of Sheikh Ahmad Gumi against the Nigerian military and security agents whenever they take action against bandits and other terrorists. Exactly. So, his continuous criticism and condemnation of the effort of the security forces send signals that Gumi may be among the sponsors of the insecurity in the Nigeria in Nigeria. So it is imperative that Nigerian security agents take immediate action to question Sheikh Gumi regarding his involvement in the ongoing insecurity in the country. I agree. Because even when Nigerian government finally released the list of terrorists in Nigeria to be uh, to end as wanted, they didn't include Gumi in that list. And Nigerians are asking, why can you release this kind of list and Gumi is not there? Is he part of you? Are you afraid of him? Even though he is a retired army major or whatever. Is that enough to keep him quiet? In foreign world, in decent society, Gumi should have been arrested long ago. So he continued saying, his consistent defense of bandits and terrorists raises serious questions about his motives and possible connection to this criminal element. Sheikh Gumi's inflammatory statement not only undermined the efforts of the security forces but also emboldened the criminals to continue their reign of terror across the country Nigeria. So his actions constitute threat to national security and must be addressed with urgency. Or is Gumi above the law? That is a question. Is Gumi above the law? Nigeria should answer that. Therefore, the World Institute for Peace calls a Nigerian security agent to arrest Sheikh Gumi and question him within the next seven days. It is crucial that he is held accountable for his words and action, and that the authorities investigate any possible link between him and perpetrators of violence in Nigeria. That is it. Rather than arresting people like Gumi, they are, they are putting people like uh, Simon Epa and other South East Biafran agitators in their list, but they are leaving Gumi there. What a controversial list. And that is what is emboldening the criminals in the South, I mean, uh, in, the, in the North. To continue their banditry activities, the ASWAP, the Fulani Herdsmen, the, the 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 Boko Harams, and all of them. Okay, and this is also emboldening the Southeast Biafran Alpop agitators as well, because they have seen that Nigeria is already in the path of destruction. They don't want to accept the fact that you know those terrorists in the north are terrorists, but they are quick to call the Alpop and the Biafra fighters terrorists. These people. I tell you the truth. It is a game that the houses, the Fulanis, and some people in the Southwest are playing to continue to uh, encapsulate and uh, and uh, continue to uh, lock down the people of Southeast in the name of one Nigeria. But that is not working, I tell you the truth. So this world organization has called on the Nigerian government to arrest Gumi immediately and question him on his relationship with the bandits because the way he comes out against the military anytime they work against the bandits, a uh, bandit is very, very suspicious. You know, even Buhari said should be arrested in the recent because Buhari said attack on Boko Haram is attack on the north. That was what he said before he became the president. And when he became the president, he empowered them up to the Fulani headsmen to a point that even when people say, uh, the Fulani herdsmen are destroying farmland. He saw it. Rather than questioning them and stopping the activities, he said he was encouraging the villagers in the middle belt in the south, east, south, and south, south to accommodate them and live together with them. Can you imagine that kind of thing? 
So these people, they know what they're doing and it is a very terrible one. Now, international community is calling for the arrest of Shigumi. Let's see if Tinubu government will be bold enough to go and pick him up because the guy actually is has proven to be part of them. Quite an unfortunate situation, I tell you the truth. Let's go into the comment section. People have written, you know, someone said, who will arrest Gumi if it is a satana that is uh, that is a terrorist like Gumi? I'm sure by now, no one will know his whereabouts. The North will soon completely destroy Nigeria beyond control and remedy. Where is the so-called DSS police and even the Nigerian military? Nigeria is gone, 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 and gone. I pity Tinubu, not be lying. Not be lying. And so we say there is no body God cannot handle. Just watch what will happen as far as God is on the throne. That is it. But these people, it's quite unfortunate. Gumi, I mean, Tinubu said they will continue for where we stop. Only God knows the kind of agreement he has signed with the North to become president. So there are certain things that he will never touch. That is the truth. And uh, another person is saying Gumi and some others went to Iran long ago to learn about their Islamic revolution and Iran honored his father. So why wouldn't he be a sympathizer of anyone involved in this kind of act if he is not fully involved? Okay, he has his men in top military and civil service who can arrest him even if he is found uh, is found to be deeply involved. Oh, Lord God, Nigeria and Nigerians are your creation. Save us from the hands of evil men oppressing us in Jesus' name. Amen. And uh, somebody is saying it's a welcome call. Hmm. Sir, I want to assure you God is in charge. God has absolute control. Nebuchadnezzar was turned into an animal. The living God is still uh, is still on the throne. I pray so. It's a welcome call. Oh. That's correct. He is part of them, and that is it. Nigeria is a country where some people are above the laws of the land. If not, someone like Gumi, if not, someone like Gumi should have been in prison long before now. That is it. That is it. The guy is actually one of them. Uh, someone said, good talk. Surprisingly, curiously, too, no one in the North has condemned the provocative and devilish stance of Gumi on banditry and their... Um, uh, monstrous destruction of lives. I wonder why this man is often referred to as an Islamic cleric. Is this what uh, being Islamic cleric stands for? That is a big question. It must take APC a million years to arrest Gumi, bring him to book. Eh? Idiot zoo government fooling themselves around. No one being in front of the law, Gumi should be arrested and prosecuted. They are not going, they are never going to do it. Nigerian government will never arrest Gumi because he's one of them. There is nobody above or beyond God. Gumi may have the support of strong men around the great influence, around and great influence. Very soon, he will come to shame. Nobody can deliver him from the wrath of God. He will serve as deterrent um, to, the, to the others. It's a very bad situation. I think that should be best news ever. Calling for the arrest of Gumi is the best news ever in Nigeria. That guy needs to be arrested. He's very, very bad. I tell you the truth. What he's doing is terrible. And I don't know why Nigeria government just for some reason cannot just pick that guy up. Hmm? Uh, he called for the amnesty for them just like Niger Delta guys. Of course. With no, with someone he told Nigerian government to Tinubu not to use military on the bandit, rather he should negotiate with them. And the Northern clerics, the Northern Elders Forum supported it. The, the people from the North supported it, that they shouldn't use military on the bandit, rather they should negotiate with them. Let me tell you, they know what they're doing. They know exactly what they are doing. Banditry has come to stay in the North and nothing is going to remove it. The only thing that will save this country is to just let everybody go its own way. Hmm. Very, very bad, I tell you the truth. Nigerian government is pro-Islam and afraid of Gumi. That is it. And somebody say, no, 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 that is no good area. He is untouchable because as an average Fulani man, it is forbidden to arrest him. 
they are landlords no matter what is happening no matter what they say or do nigerian government will overlook them that is the problem that is the problem i pity nigeria gumi is the father of bandits in the north i uh, exactly they can't try it they can't arrest him if gumi is arrested there will be peace in kaduna Eru five should also be arrested and professor yusuf usman should also be arrested arrest Chigumi now he is a former sponsor of kidnappers in nigeria i hope government should be able to act now they won't do it Tinubu government will never arrest gumi gumi is an untouchable bandit and terrorist he should not he should be arrested but they will never arrest him they will never arrest him hmm so that is what we see here thank you for listening and let's have your comments